At nine, several busts are made by Port Authority police. Some train hoppers and their dog caught in a high security area early this morning. The four men who were riding on the rails jumped off a train at the switchyard, putting police on alert. Andrew Perez is standing by live outside the Port Authority office with the details. Now, Andrew, these train travelers are pretty bold here. Yeah, well, Bob, let me as bold is one way to describe them. You got to remember, it's been a little bit more than a year now since several train hoppers were actually crushed to death in Mobile in one of those rail cars. So, no doubt, it's definitely a dangerous way to travel. Police are saying it needs to stop. These four guys are out of towners, transients that police say were caught making a pit stop at the Port Authority in Mobile. At least once a week, police say they catch rail car riders trying to get on or off one of these bad boys to travel for free. But it's a serious crime and a dangerous one at that. It's not a very safe way to travel. I mean, uh, no, the railroads don't like it because it is, it's, a, it's an incredibly dangerous way to travel. Unfortunately, there are a lot more people that do that than we think it is. But He wasn't alive, so I'm screaming, help, help. No one, no one wanted to help. No one could help. Steve McCoy was one of those train hoppers. Last year, he survived a freak accident after steel beams inside one of the rail cars shifted, crushing his friends to death. A gruesome scene putting the train travel culture in the spotlight. Authorities have high tech security to help with that. Now, Port Authority officials say they have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to trying to train hop, riding these rails. They say it's a matter of national security, something they've got to deal with on a regular basis. We have security barriers that's a combination of cameras and fences and sensors, and so if they breach and come into our property, it alerts one of our dispatchers. Measures put in place after 9-11, ways to keep the lines and ports secure. Officials say travelers should heed the warning and find a little bit of adventure somewhere else. I owe my life to becoming a better person and make the world better. Like, I got a second chance. Yeah, that was a very sad case there. Now, these th uh, three of the men that were arrested early this morning, they're from Georgia. The other one is from Oklahoma. The one from Oklahoma actually had a warrant still out for his arrest out of California. So police said that they often do find criminals that are hopping on and off these uh, trains. At last check, they were all still in Mobile Metro Jail. For now, reporting live in Mobile, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. All right.